Roblox gave away 100 million Robux, role skins are getting hacked and allowing swearing, and so much more insane news. And if you're new, please subscribe and let's get into it. Let's start with the elephant in the room being a missing Roblox YouTuber of me. The last news video I posted was 13 days ago, and then the last video I posted in general was 8 days ago, but no one watched that video. And overall, in 20 days this month, I've only posted 3 videos, which if you guys know me, I usually post like every other day. And if you miss my community post and are confused with what's going on, basically I'm in my last month of high school ever. Like after this, I'm graduating high school. So that's basically it, it was nothing insane, i just been really busy with school. But then on top of that, days where I haven't been busy, there's literally like no Roblox news to talk about. But anyways, no one really cares, let's get into the actual Roblox news. Starting with a game that actually got hacked and it's pretty insane. So recently a very popular game called Clock In got really popular in Roblox. I'm pretty sure it started gaining traction on like TikTok and then from that it got like a lot of people playing it. It was getting thousands of players and visits and overall like, the game right now sits at almost 9 million visits overall and has like a couple thousand active. Which obviously is great and it seems like everything's going well and this game has like a brighter future. But then yesterday something actually happened that kind of ruined their reputation. In the game, I don't know how this happened, but every player who started playing got this message. It would like pop up, flash on the screen, and play like loud noises, saying that, Did you know this game is stolen? Now, Virgin Studios is a stolen group. Clock in is a stolen game. Lucas is a swear word. Thief, don't let him get away. So not only did he hack the game somehow, but they also swore. Which is kind of crazy, I don't know how they got away with that. But I think that's like the least of their concerns. And I don't know how they hacked the game, or like what's going on. And I'm pretty sure it's probably something to do with like backdooring a diamond panel, something like that. We've seen it before with like other hackers like Tubers93 if you remember. So he probably did something like that and then popped his message up for everyone to know that the game stolen apparently. Now to fix this the game was taken down for a bit but it is back up and they didn't even mention anything about this. They just put the game back up but like normally removed this like little hack thing and just went like normally like nothing happened. Like the description doesn't say anything, like the group doesn't mention anything, the account who like owns the game didn't mention anything. Which kind of makes me wonder like is this game actually stolen? But anyways next we have something weird Roblox had recently. So they recently announced these new Roblox like default avatar bundles that have like layered clothing and dynamic faces. And they look pretty weird. Now I don't know what they mean by like default bundle. Does this mean that like when we sign up we're gonna get these bundles? I don't really know. Like to be fair like they don't look bad as like the character itself. But for Roblox it just seems very like off. And we've seen this time and time again they always push Arthro for like no reason and then I feel like no one uses it. Like I don't play Roblox that often but I can't remember the last time I saw someone actually using an Arthro character and like enjoying it. I feel like no one uses it. And overall, the entire comments are like hating on this and just saying that it's awful. And even Krikas spoke out about this. He said, Why the new roles after it looked like they were copy pasted straight out of some random metaverse NFT game? Tell me which one is Roblox. And he showed a bunch of like NFT like metaverse type games and then the Roblox ones. And to be fair, they are like insanely similar. But then also, I feel like this is kind of what Roblox is going for. They're always saying like metaverse and whatever, and like they kind of want that like approach. So maybe that's what they're going for. And anyways, next we have Minecraft actually stealing from Roblox. So if you guys don't know, on like the Minecraft like Windows 10 version or Windows Store version, you can actually buy maps. And how it works is you buy maps for like real money and the maps come with like texture packs and everything. And well with this, a lot of Roblox games have been getting stolen and put it on the Minecraft marketplace. A popular one I saw was Doors. This person recreated Doors in Minecraft, took like all the textures, took like the music too I think and like sped it up and everything and just stole the whole concept and made it their own. And they don't mention anywhere like credit, Elspash, or anything for it. And the game is insanely popular. Like when I went to check it, it was on the front page and like it has a bunch of reviews. And the game is pretty expensive so it's probably making a bunch of money. If we look at it, the game's $8.99 and it has 1,085 reviews. So at minimum that's like $10,000 they probably made or even more. Cause not everyone who plays there leaves a review. I don't know like how the money split goes but they definitely made like a couple thousand dollars off this game. And I was looking more to the person who built this and like their games are just a bunch more stolen stuff from Roblox. Like they have like rainbow friends and they have more door stuff and like overall that's just what these people do. Which is pretty messed up because obviously this probably is kind of hard to make. But they're taking the entire concept and like they're basically stealing an entire game and making a bunch of money off of it. Now if you look at the trailer for this game you can kind of see like how badly they actually stole it. Like for the most part it literally just looks like doors obviously. And in the trailer they actually use like the doors music and just sped it up to say like they're allowed to use it. So that's like the only part that they actually credit Elsplash by stealing the music and speeding it up. And besides that, there is like some stuff that's a bit different, like the monsters look a bit different, but for the most part, like the map layout, like the theme of the game, everything is stolen. And because of this, the trailer also has some hate. It almost has a 50-50 like to dislike ratio, because people realize like, oh, it's just entirely stolen. But besides the hate, like the game is doing very well, and it's probably making a lot of money off it. And not only just that game, but all the other games that they have that are stealing from Roblox, which is pretty insane. And there's probably more games on Roblox that people have stolen and making a bunch of money off it on Minecraft. 
Now, as for anything else, I also have to point out the fact that a lot of Roblox games steal from Minecraft too. So, I mean, it's kind of a double-edged sword here. Because it is messed up, but then also, there's a lot of Roblox games that steal from Minecraft. Like, concepts and stuff that are very popular. So, I just have to mention that, just because, like... I can't just keep trashing on, like, these Roblox or Minecraft games, because it also happens, vice versa. But this door thing is still messed up. I'm just saying that, like... I can't act like Roblox doesn't also do it. But anyways, it's gonna be our last word, which is pretty interesting. So the other day I got this tweet, and I was very intrigued. They said, So, Rolls is running a promotion in South Africa for Robux, and in the screenshot it says, Get your share of 100 million Robux. So I dug a bit deeper, and I was trying to find like the original website from this. It was actually pretty hard. It took me a couple of attempts, and I found like a bunch of deleted tweets. But then I finally found the actual website and the actual like page for this, and it gets more interesting. Alright, so here's the page. It says here, Get your share of 100 million Robux. Shop to get 150 Robux free. And then if you scroll down, it says, How do you get your 150 Robux voucher? It's Pick and Pay's birthday, and we're celebrating with the 100 million Robux giveaway. Level up your shopping game in-store, online, on PNP Home, the Mystery D app, or the Pick and Play ASAP app. And then down here, they give even more information. Seeing that you can get times two Robux, depending on like how much money you spend. You have to use like, a specific card. You have to like do your receipt. You get like an email, and then you get like a code. So all this is pretty confusing, but I'm pretty sure I know what's going on. So if you look at the website, you can buy like normal like groceries. Like just random stuff that you can just buy. And if you spend enough money, they give you like a, a code on your receipt or like email it to you or whatever. Where you can redeem 150 Robux for free. Which is pretty weird and interesting. I don't really know like how official or how allowed this is. But it seems like it actually is like legit. And it says it gives you like two times the Robux or whatever if you spend a thousand or more. And if you look at like the conversion rate, a thousand like R is like $70 Canadian. So it doesn't even seem like worth it. Because I think it would literally be cheaper to just buy Robux by itself and not do this. But it says that only for like the two times thing. I don't know what like the limit actually is to get the Robux. But I think the main approach was just that like if you're shopping anyways, might as well get free Robux rather than it being like worth the cost. I don't know, it's pretty interesting. Also with the new Roblox rules, I'm pretty sure if anyone else outside of South Africa tries this, it won't work. And also I feel like the 100 million Robux thing is just like a gimmick. Like it seems like they actually are giving away Robux, but like I feel like the 100 million thing is just to like attract people. Like they definitely don't just have 100 million Robux, they're probably just giving away like a couple thousand, and they're just saying 100 million just to attract people in. Overall, pretty weird, we haven't really seen anything like this before. And especially from like this like random website. To be honest, I don't even know if it's legit, but it seems pretty legit from what I've seen and what people have been doing. So I guess if you're in South Africa, the three people watching this are from South Africa, you can get 100 million Robux from buy, or 150 Robux from buying like some groceries, I don't know. Now for the people who aren't in South Africa, don't worry, you guys can still get free Robux, because the Microsoft Bing Rewards have recently restocked their 100 Robux codes for most regions. And if you guys don't know what Microsoft Rewards are, it's a rewards program by Microsoft where you can do stuff like surveys and like searching the web and whatever. And if you get enough points, you can buy Robux. But if you enjoyed, check this video to learn about missing Roblox games. I'll see you in the next one.